So I installed the new Skater XL update, and uh, let's just say things are a little bit <laughs> crazy now. <laughs> it's so insane. Hey, what's up guys, Zach here, and welcome back to another video. So today we're actually playing Skater XL, a game I haven't played in over a year, and wow, they've made a lot of changes. So right now I'm actually on a custom map from Skate 3. This is the Maloof Money Cup. You'll probably recognize it immediately, but watch some of the crazy new things you can do in this game. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Like, I don't even have words. It's so different from how it used to be. Basically, the mapping in the modding community has come out insanely strong, and now there's just a bunch of fun mods and maps you can play on, and it makes the game really enjoyable. And one thing I really like is that they have a setting where you can catch all your tricks manually. So, for example, I can catch my kickflip with my back foot, but if you don't do that, like you forget to catch it, it'll just keep spinning. So it's actually pretty hard to catch certain tricks, but it gives you the opportunity to do some absolutely insane tricks like this one. Like, I don't even know how what that would even be called. And I've downloaded this mod menu, which you guys definitely need to get if you want to play this game. And you can pretty much change everything about the game. So you can change the gravity to be really low, so you jump really high. Or you can change the flip speed so that the board spins really quickly. Let's start with that one, flip speed. I'm going to change it to... Let's just, let's, let's just go all the way. So basically, this is just like my skater has a super powerful leg and can kick really hard. And oh my gosh, how many flips do you think that was? They've made the replay editor a lot better, so I can actually go back and check how many flips that was. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That was an eleven flip. A, 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 I don't know how you'd even what you'd even call that. Let me know what you think that should be called. An eleven kick. Fl a, a le I. It's just so insane. I can't even name it. But if we want to get really crazy, we can also make the scoop speed <laughs> also extremely fast. This is probably a horrible idea, but that's gonna make the board spin both ways really fast. We gotta try it. Okay, we just gotta try it. Let's just see how fast it actually is. <laughs> if I can land that in a grind, that would be hilarious. I know a lot of people are gonna be upset at this video because this is to be a much more realistic skating simulator and I'm over here doing this <laughs> oh my gosh it's just way too much fun though <laughs> what? I I just really like this I promise I will do some realistic skating to really showcase the awesome physics of this game afterwards but right now I'm just having a lot of fun with this and I want to see that replay in a little bit slower speed like what it's just so insane, it doesn't even make sense, but I guess that's kind of why I love it. So I'm gonna switch all these back to default real quick. There we go, and we're gonna try out some other maps. By the way, all the maps and mods come from the Skater XL Discord. I'll put a link down in the description if you would like to join the Discord, and you can get all these maps and mods for yourself. So I actually have a pretty good amount of maps downloaded. I think we're actually gonna start with Hollywood High. So this is a very popular, real famous skate spot. And it's safe to say that a ton of skaters have absolutely destroyed this spot in real life. But today, <laughs> I'm gonna destroy it just a little bit harder. But this map is just absolutely gorgeous. It's dust, you got the shadows, you got the smaller stair set back here. Oh, that was nice. So I wanna do a couple of realistic tricks here, but then of course, I'm gonna throw all the mods on and we're gonna try to do some crazy stuff. But first, let's try to do something that would be insane in real life. Also, you can do back flips and front flips in the game, so. We'll get to that later. So we're gonna start with a trick that could possibly be done down this stair set. It would be pretty insane. I don't think it's ever been done. Maybe it has. Someone can let me know. Boom, 360 flip with a beautiful catch at the beginning. I wanna do one more flip trick. Let's try to do a laser flip. If that ever happened on this stair set, that would be kinda nuts, but we're gonna do it in the game. Oh, very well done. All right, the first ever video of a laser flip down the Hollywood high stair set. Oh, the back foot catch is so exaggerated. Yeah, I probably should have caught it with two feet, but it's kind of steezy with one foot. It's kind of like a major flex. All right, next I want to try to do something on this handrail. One last realistic trick. Well, realistic, that would probably never happen, but more realistic trick. And then we're going to move into some crazy stuff, but let's try to do like a kick flip to a front side crooked grind. Now, because the game has extremely realistic mechanics, this is obviously not as easy as it would be in Skate 3. So basically the controls are different because you steer with left and right, and then you, you control your right foot with the right stick and your left foot with the left stick. So sometimes it can be hard. That was pretty cool, but not the trick I was trying to do. We're trying to do a kick flip. To, oops. Oh, we're trying to do a kickflip to crooked grind. So like that. Oh my gosh, that was nice. All right, let's see how this fisheye angle looks. 
Oh, that is pretty cool. It's way faster from that angle. All right, I know what you guys have been waiting for. You want to see some mods added. I guess we got to start with a flip. I feel like that would be pretty funny. So I don't know what any of this means. Body flip speed. I'm just going to keep it default for now. We'll adjust. I don't know how to do a flip. I guess I'm just going to figure it out. I think it might be with the bumper. So like that. Oh my gosh, front flip. <laughs> how did I land that? Let's try that one again. One... Two. Okay, what I, what I really need to do is change the gravity. Oh, this is the craziest thing ever. The fact that someone added all this stuff. Let's make it like three. So this is like a third of the normal gravity on Earth. This should allow me to do a couple more flips, I'm assuming. I don't know. Oh, yeah, there we go. Double flip. Nice. All right, we got to do it. We got to turn the, the flip speed up, the, the body flip speed. I'm trying to do the first ever quad front flip in this game. I'm sure someone has done it, but I'm going to do it too. I guess we got to change the gravity. We're going to change the gravity all the way all the way down no pretty low though because i don't i don't want to go to the moon all right here we go my board's already coming off the ground oh my gosh i'm floating what would happen if i just ollied oh my gosh this is <laughs> okay if i can just stay on the board oh no my guy's floating away no all right i just need to stay on the board long enough to get to the stair set and then pop one two three four five six seven yes seven flips down the hollywood high that might be a new world record i you know honestly i'm just gonna say it that is definitely a new world record can i ollie up it can i kick flip up it oh <laughs> oh yes <laughs> oh wait there's another stair set all right right here right here ready and go oh i caught it oh we're going out of the map <laughs> okay that, oh, ah, i'm having too much fun with these mods we got to get back to the regular game all right, guys, I got to reset the settings. Oh, I can just hit default. All right, we're back on default. I think we've done enough to this stair set. We'll come back another time, but I want to play one more map in this video. Oh my gosh, this park looks awesome. I'm back on all the regular settings, so <laughs> the game is hard again. But I want to skate this area. As you can see, there's a bunch of LED lights. It's indoors, I think, or it's not indoors. It's in between some buildings, but it... Oh, there we go. All right, so now I'm actually having to try to play this game without all of the mods, and it's it's pretty hard, let me tell you. But I really love the aesthetic of this park. I would love to get a trick on this handrail somehow. Now you guys can see how bad I am when I don't have all of the crazy gravity mods installed. This game is really hard, okay? If I could just get a board slide on this, I would be extremely happy. It's really sad how slow I'm going. I'm stalled. Okay, can I at least get out of it, please? I should probably go a little bit faster. Maybe kickflip, catch, board slide, nice. Oh, okay. It was pretty slow, but I'm gonna take it. And then 360 flip. Never mind. It's crazy the contrast from me, like, being able to land insanely hard tricks to me just being literally horrible. Big backside flip. Never. Oh, that was like a hippie flip. All right, now I'm in switch, which means the controls are even harder. Oh my gosh. How do I pop like that? Okay. Oh, I forgot to catch. Once I get better at this game, I'll play more on these settings. But until then, I'll probably be playing with the mods because the mods are really fun. But I really like this map. I thought there might be more. This is my first time ever seeing it. I guess we can skate around over here. We might actually have time for one more map after this too because I thought this map was going to be a lot bigger. Ooh. So another cool feature in this game is that if you press Y, you don't get off your board, but you can actually like move around and place your marker wherever you want to. So let's try to do something down this really long rail. I think that would be cool. So I can actually just place my marker right there which is really really nice and then boom try to miss the rail i probably should have gotten some more run up there we go all right so now we can try to do a hard trick <laughs> well hard trick as an easy trick for most people hard for me i want to try to do a realistic trick on this handrail i like going back and forth between the like absolute insanity Ooh, that was not too bad the absolute insanity of the mods to just like the extremely difficult physics of this game what the heck? I'm stuck. I feel bad because so many people are making awesome Skater XL like realistic videos and then I can barely do anything on here. I kind of want to play with them. I've already played with Night Speed, who's insane, but I want to play against Garrett Jenner. You guys might know him. He's a skater who just started a gaming channel and he's been making a lot of Skater XL videos, which actually kind of inspired this video. But that guy is really, really good and there's actually multiplayer in this game, so I would love to play him. I'm officially challenging Garrett Jenner to a Skater XL battle. So Garrett, if you're watching this, I am challenging you to a Skater XL battle, you have five days to respond. And if not, you know, I might just have to crown myself the best Skater XL YouTuber. I don't know, but I guess we'll just have to see what happens. But I want to do one last good trick on here. I want to just try to do like a Smith grind. Now that doesn't sound like much, but I don't know what I'm doing at all. So if I could do that, oh, there it almost was. 
If I can do that, I will call it a absolute dub ski on this map. So I, I feel like right now, Skater XL honestly just has a little bit for everyone. Like, as you saw earlier in the video, I was doing, like, front flips and some insane stuff. Oh, I'm gonna take that one. But it's also an extremely realistic skateboarding simulator with uh, some real features. That was a bad example. But, like, you saw how long it took me just to do a smith grind. Like, it's actually quite realistic and hard to play if you're just on all the regular settings. All right, let's get to one final map for this video. All right, I just spawned into this new map and there's literally a rabbit right here. Like, wait, can I get a better view of it? Look at this guy. He's just going. I mean, really slowly, but oh, there's another one. This map has a lot of wildlife, but this is an awesome, awesome, awesome park. Wow, you can tell that a lot of thought went into this map. So we're gonna skate it. I'm gonna set my marker up here for now. All right, so there's a rail right here. Uh, looks like it might be pretty high up. I might have to, oh, nope. I thought I might've had to uh, high pop to get to it, but oh my gosh, yes. Uh, I thought I was gonna uh, use some mods, but maybe we'll we'll skate a little bit realistically, and then oh that was bad. We'll skate realistically for a little bit, and then we'll put the mods back on. This handrail looks pretty nice. I want to try to do a nose slide. So this is something I did in my very first Skater XL video, and it's not as hard as I'm making it seem right now. I'm just bad. So we're gonna do one realistic trick here, and then we're gonna let loose with the mods. All right, here we go, nice and slow. Kickflip. Oh, that was not it. The kickflip makes it a little bit harder, but honestly not too much harder. Oh, there it is. Horrible landing, though. Oh, what? It was a little glitchy. I think it was just my camera that was glitchy, though. Let's watch it back. All right, here we go. Kickflip, beautifully done. To no slide, and I tried to go out. Yeah, it was a little glitchy, but I think that might just be the way the rail is. So that was, that was nice. And now let's bring out some mods. All right, so apparently you can do one-footed grinds. I feel like that would look really cool. It says press and hold X or A while grinding. So we're going to try that. Maybe we're going to pull out a one-foot grind here. Oh, I see. I should probably do the back foot because it wouldn't make much sense if my... Oh, there we go. You could barely really see it. Maybe I can do it again here. Oh, we would need like a longer rail to really show it off. But maybe if I just go slower, we'll do a high pop into it. Should give us more time. And there we go. One-footed grind. Kind of cool. That would be really cool in real life. In the video game, it doesn't look all that insane, but I think it would be fun to change body speed from one to 10. So my body spins 10 times as fast as it's supposed to be spinning. I don't know how that's gonna look, but let's see. Oh wait, that didn't really seem to change anything. Does that look faster? Maybe that's a little bit faster. Maybe I just don't know what it usually looks like. I like this quarter pipe thing here. I don't know exactly what you'd call it, but I want to try to use a mod and just like go flying off of it. All right, we're gonna put gravity to literally like zero and see what happens here. I'm hoping I just fly into the moon. All right, literally right when I spawn in, I'm already floating. This, <laughs> this was a horrible idea. I need, oh, there we go. Oh, sick. Wait, we're only going up. We're literally not even going down. This is the high quality content you subscribed for. If anyone counts how many spins I do right here, put it in the comments. I'll send you a free uncool hoodie. Catch right there. All right, how do I get back to the ground? You know, I think I might just fly forever. Oh wait, no, it looks like I'm actually heading back down. I guess we can do like a grab. Oh, I hit a tree. All right, well, I guess that answers that question. <laughs> put the gravity back. We're gonna put the pop force up higher. I don't know what that does. I don't know exactly what the pop thing does. Let's see. Oh, it just sends you really high up. Okay, that makes sense. You pop a little bit higher. So when you high pop, you really pop higher. I like that because it doesn't change the gravity. It just changes how high you can pop, but you still fall at the same. Oh, to rock? Can I get out of this? Okay. Oh, to disaster? Wait, what's going on? Oh, that was kind of nice. And then we'll do a little bit of that. Oh, no. All right, I think I've had enough fun <laughs> with Skater XL today. I definitely had a lot of fun. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you'd like to see some more Skater XL videos, please let me know. If you have any crazy <laughs> challenges you want to see me try, like this one, Oh, let me know as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. And as always, stay sexy. See you guys.